Hey everybody, welcome to an American Homestead. One of the biggest questions we get on a regular basis when people come to visit is they want to know about our garden. And when they get to the garden, one of the first things that draws their attention is the arbor that we've built. And upon the arbor, we have a whole bunch of achicha cucumbers that are growing on there, and it looks just beautiful in the summer and fall. And so what I want to do today is go over and take a look at that and show you how we built our arbor. Just give you a walkthrough of the, the resources and the materials we used to build a really nice arbor in the middle of our garden that's become a, focal, uh, a focus point in the garden uh, that's turned out to be really, really pretty and very useful at the same time. So let's go check that out. Okay, so here is the arbor. Uh, it's basically cedar post. This was really easy to construct. We have an auger uh, It's a handheld auger that we drilled down into the ground drilled holes and after we drilled the holes we cut down cedar uh, um, Cedar trees that were the right diameter that we wanted to use and just place them down deep into the holes The holes go down about three feet and so all of these posts are sunk down about three feet and we stood them up and then I took uh, another cedar post here, cut that, and just put it in and zipped a screw through it. Same at the top, cut that. Let's get over here so you can see. Cut that and zipped a screw through it. And went over to the top, ran pulls across the top, zip screws through those. Really simple construction. And, and same on the other side. And then these are uh, posts that come to it, uh, come to the next post. These are just rails uh, from smaller limbs of cedar or smaller cedar trees and zip screws through those to hold it into place. Uh, these go down about two feet on these side ones here because they don't really hold, they don't really support much. And then laid, uh, you know, this, this beam here on top of that one, zipped a screw through it. And same with all the others. I mean, it's just a really easy, simple construction. Cedar lasts forever. It just lasts forever. Um, and in time, it'll even take on a, a, a neat weathered look as this bark here begins to just come off. It's peeling off because it's, it's, it's about two years old. No, no, it's about, it's about a year old now. It's about a year old now. And so it's just peeling off. And uh, this will all look really nice and weathered over, over the years as this little bark stuff wears off and there'll just be a really nice cedar underneath there. And so the plants love it. And what we do to help it is we put in some twine uh, along the cedar post to allow these vines to come up. Now you're looking at all these vines that are growing in, in, in this, inside this arbor. And this is only, I'm not kidding you, I'm not kidding you folks, this is only about four to five plants. So there's a plant there, a plant there, a plant there, no I'm sorry, two plants there and a plant there. And it's like five plants, I'm not kidding you. And they just, and each, each plant will shoot up a vine about 20 feet, and then that vine will shoot vines about 15 to 20 feet. And it keeps going and going and going and so forth until the whole arbor is covered. So if you're looking for a really great, simple arbor to build, if you can use the materials on your land, I, I mean, it's just such a cool, uh, people really get a lot of joy coming out here into the, into the garden and seeing uh, the arbor, and it just it just gives a it gives the, the garden a focal point uh, for people to enjoy um, when they come out to the garden. And we try to keep our garden a little bit maintained. Right now, we're not doing so doing so much maintenance, um, keeping some of the weeds down because the harvest se season is over. We're just basically finishing up the garden, and so I'm not maintaining it really a whole lot at this point. Uh, but uh, in the springtime and in the summer, because um, it's fall now, it's October, uh, we just kind of let it go. But we try to keep it maintained so people enjoy because we get a lot of visitors who come to our homestead who want to see see what we're doing and we, we want people to enjoy it. and we want to be able to enjoy it by coming out and just and looking at the garden and and just seeing all of the hard work that we, that we do and 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 enjoy it just it, you know it, it's pleasing to the eye it's getting so heavy it's just kind of falling down there uh off of the, off of the strings we attached because uh, there's so many uh, achicha vines now these achichas like that one right there is just Look at that. So they had these little spines on them, but they're harmless. And so you just pick this, just like that. Let me get the camera. Just put it in your mouth. Mm. It hasn't rained here. I'm not kidding you. It hasn't rained here for probably close to a month. And that fruit that I just ate is just full of water, full of water. 
this is one of the best plants I think you could have for your garden. It's starting to die back now because it got cold. We had a cold snap where it got down into the upper 30s and uh, low 40s a few times. And so the plant's starting to die back, but it's, it's still not dead yet. It's still putting off lots and lots of fruit. These things um, just produce an enormous amount of fruit. And, and it's very pest resistant and disease resistant. You won't see any powdery mildew on here or anything like that. Um, you know, very few squash bugs. In fact, what, they, what I've read on here online is that this plant is so great for arbors and so great for your garden, it actually att attracts the kind of bugs that the pest, that, that, that hurt pest and kill pest, other, other harmful insects. And so this is a great plant to have in your garden. Um, there's all kinds of fruit that needs to be picked on here. We've been saving the seeds like crazy because people are asking, hey, Zach, when are you going to get these online on your website again so we can buy the seeds? And we're going to do that. So if you just take a look here, just go over here. Like these are great just to eat right off the vine, like that. Those are just so full of flavor. Just like that. Here. Watch that. So, mm, just full of flavor, full of water, very tasty. Now, as they get more mature, you see that? That's a lot bigger one. That's a lot bigger. Let's just pull that down. And this thing, this little guy here, what he'll do when you try to break him open, he splits up. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. He splits up into pieces like that. Here, hold on. See like that? And these are great for dipping. We have like this, uh, you can get like this ranch dressing. We dip it in the ranch dressing or some kind of dressing that we make, and, and it's just great for that. Uh, how, how The other ways we've made this that's delicious is if you uh, soak them or marinate them in some sort of vinaigrette or Italian dressing, something like that, and then uh, grill it uh, on a grill, on a barbecue grill. Very tasty. Or saute them in butter. Like just cut them up into little pieces like this because they split off, off, off the cucumbers just like this very easily. And you can just saute these in butter and they are delicious just delicious and the spines everyone looks at these like oh these spines i don't know if i can eat that but they, it doesn't hurt you it's they're very soft spines and they're delicious you just put them right in your mouth and so even like this you can eat them raw but uh, when they're when they're a little bit older and mature like this uh, i like them you know in a dipping sauce or uh, uh you know sauteed or um, marinated in a in an olive oil vinaigrette vinegar type uh, marinade and then uh, put on the grill tastes really good that way but just great by themselves very good very good so for our arbor this fruit produces a massive amount of fruit and it looks very attractive over an arbor and so if you're looking for an arbor plant this is one I would highly recommend and if you're looking for an easy arbor to build if you have any cedars in your area, this is just a really easy wood to work with and build an arbor from. I think you'd really get a, it's it's not that hard. All I did was put four posts in the ground. One, two, three, and then four. Put them in three feet in the ground. I cut cedar trees to length and then just attached supports, laid the beams across, laid beams across, and I was done. Simple. It took me like two days to build. Uh, it took me more time just to gather the materials and pick the right lumber I wanted to use out of the forest um, than it took me to actually put this thing together. Uh, it take, would take two guys probably an afternoon to do. Anyway, if you're looking for a great plant to put on an arbor, I would highly consider the Achichuk cucumbers. We have these for sale right now on our website. Um, you can go there. We have a ton of seed. We've got a ton of seed already harvested, and we're going to be harvesting more seed as we go. Uh, it puts off a, just a ton of fruit. You, you can, you're never going to be disappointed with this plant, and it looks really pretty in your garden. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed our garden arbor, and I hope it gives you the inspiration to build your own. And if you're looking for something to put on your garden arbor, a plant that works well with arbors, works well with trellis systems, I would highly recommend the Achicha Cucumber. And you can buy the seeds right now for sale on our website. Uh, they're a great tasting fruit. It produces abundantly. I know you won't be disappointed on it uh, with it. So we'll leave it at that. We had a great harvest this year. I hope you too also had a great harvest. It's now time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. All right, we'll see you next time on an American Homestead.
If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.